Did anyone say automation? I heard you guys want some more automation for the ExoCares events, so here you go. I've built this insanely fast automated farm that should be able to get the whole events done in just a couple minutes. Let me show you how it works and stay tuned until the end to see the new set of chips that we will get from the secret tiers of this event. Behind me here we've got our Astronium scrap farm from a while ago. And then I've built this section here that will make a ton of these plants that I still don't know how to read the name of. And we've got four extra request platforms that we will sadly need to manually send. So I'll call them here. This is because you cannot automate extra request platforms. I don't know why, but anyway. I'll also show you a time lapse of me building this farm. And it's actually a pretty easy build. It's not really that expensive. You can do it in the mid game probably. So in order to craft these plants, we'll need scrap and organic. And we've got one part that creates the scrap and another that creates the organic. They both feed into the same platform. And then we get all of those materials, which we then feed into extra request platforms, which we send to get points. We are getting the organic using the tappers because that's infinite organic. And we are getting it from honey pots because they create organic the fastest it's one organic every 10 seconds and then the scrap is created from the astronium scrap farm which turns astronium into solid fuel jump jets and then shreds those we are getting all the astronium from some auto extractors in the core of the planet and a train is automatically bringing it here i have a full video on all of that if you want to check it out but right now let's focus on the event so i want to complete the third tier and unlock the visor and then i want to complete a ton of the secret tiers to get the five special chips the astronaut developers said we need to hang on to these chips we also have the five from the breakdown event earlier this year and they will apparently come in handy later so we'll get all of those and now all we have to do is turn on these auto arms and you'll see the farm will start to do its thing so let's go ahead and turn everything on here there we go and yeah that's basically it now these will get filled up with the items and once we have eight of them we can just come in here and send them manually each of these these items is 50 points so once we send a full extra request platform with eight of them we'll get 400 points we have already completed the first two tiers so we've got more than 4,000 points and in order to complete the third one we'll need 14,000 that means we'll need to get at least 10,000 points but that's not all we're gonna do in this video because I mentioned we're gonna get the chips so we'll probably get several tens of thousands of points and it's gonna be extremely easy because we've got this whole automation here but let's start sending these and from time to time they should also come back with some cool rewards that's why i've got these storages right here so that we can place all of the reward items on there we can expect to receive dynamite packagers uh, some power items like solar panels or wind turbines but sometimes you can get some cooler items in the breakdown event earlier this year i remember we got hydrazine jump jets but then we also received nanocarbon alloy so i wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing those types of items here as well you can also see some trade platforms going off in the background there they are getting us even more scrap i also forgot to enable output on all of these because we have over 1000 scrap just sitting here so yeah i'll just sit here and manually send these and then i'll show you once we've got the third tier completed or once we receive some awesome rewards i need to move a little bit faster here because we are creating a ton of items but we got some rewards as well we got graphite we've got dynamite and we've got some research samples that we can scan and we'll gather bytes if you actually need a ton of bytes you can place those in the research chambers and you will get more bytes out of them but we have so many bytes here from all our byte farms that we don't really need anything and we also have all of the items unlocked okay so let's just keep sending these and this is starting to place them in my backpack as well we are starting to get pretty close here we are way beyond the 10,000 point mark and oh look at that we actually got a chip so we've already got the one out of five and you can see these have an apostrophe after them to differentiate from the chips that we received in the first event of the year and actually let me show you all of those as well so that you can see how they look and all the difference between them but apart from that we also received some dynamite and packagers so i'll throw all of these on here and then i'll keep the chips safe on my rover just to make sure nothing happens to them but let me grab the chips from the last event so that we can have all of them in here we'll take the train all the way over there because we've built a large automation for the last event as well that was probably bigger than this one so here it is this was for the breakdown event and here we should have all of the five chips so one uh two three four and five yeah 
we got all of them and we have even more of each wow i really left a mess here i have to come back and clean because we might run into some leg issues later on because of that but we have a ton of each number of chips so even if we lose some we'll be okay and we'll probably do the same for this event as well so i just want to have all of them next to each other let me actually grab some medium storages and look at that astronium is still being sent and we are receiving more and more scrap these basically look pretty similar but you can see the name is different and we also have some different lore if you want to pause it and read the lore for the new chips in here you can do that anytime you want but yeah, let me just throw these in order so we've got one two three four five for the breakdown event and then on this other one we'll have all five for this exo cares initiative event i'm also really curious to see what we will use them for because they appear to be really important but we still don't know why so that's really exciting for me at least i i think that's gonna be a huge update when we see what those things are actually capable of we are pretty close here all we need is one more rocket and then we've got it so here we go we should complete the event and unlock the visor and then we'll have the full set of clothing from the exo cares event there it is we've unlocked the visor it is called envisioned so let's see here i'll get it equipped and this is pretty much it we've got the special hat the special palette and now we also have the special visor from this event uh, we look pretty colorful it's not a style of clothing i would wear in real life i'll give you that but it's pretty interesting and now let's keep on getting these tiers so that we can unlock all of the chips now after completing the event you can see we've got secret tiers and from what i can gather each of them is about 2000 points yeah so one care package is 2000 points and the care package basically means we get a rocket full of items and these items can include anything that we've received before it can include other items but most importantly they will sometimes include the chips that we are looking for so i'll keep completing this and i'll show you when we find something interesting all right so we got one care package here and this is just some metals but these are pretty good for base building oh and i didn't even see we got a chip we got a three out of five all right so we won't receive this in order that's why we'll have multiple of each so i'm gonna go ahead and place this here on our storage oh but this one looks different from the 3 out of 5 before. I was a little bit thrown off because the first one looks similar. But now I see that it's not in the right configuration. But it's still pretty similar to the first one from before. But now the third one looks really different. There we have the third. We are still missing 3 of them. So I'll keep on doing stuff over here. I really wish we could automate sending these. Now I just have to sit here and manually send each of them. But that's fine. Oh look at that. We got some more rewards. We got hydrazine. We got hydrazine jetpacks. That's cool. And we also got another 1 out of 5 chips. So this one I'm gonna just place over here because we've already got one. We only need one of each, but we'll keep them just in case we lose some of the ones we get. I don't know how we would lose them, but better safe than sorry, right? Oh, but we received the 2 out of 5 cheap. That's great. We also got some clay and graphite, but I don't care about any of those. I just care about the chips right now. So we can place it right here in its slot. We've got 1, 2, and 3. Actually, the 3 should be over here. And now all we are missing is 4 and 5. So we are getting pretty close. We should have all of them in no time. I am really excited about this. One eternity later. Somehow we are still getting more 2 out of 5s. So I'll keep throwing everything on here. But we really need to start getting some other numbers. We need 4 and 5. That's all we need. So we need those 2 and we've got the whole thing completed. Oh, something else came back. And of course it's another 2 out of 5. This might actually take more than I anticipated. Because we keep getting the same chips. But that's okay. I'm sure that's part of the design of this event they want you to complete a ton of these and oh would you look at that another two out of five yeah that was expected so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one finally we received the last one this is five out of five we've got a ton of rewards over here we actually reached 126,000 points we completed so many of the secret tiers we got nanocarbon alloy, we've got all types of rewards, we've got portable smelters, 
we've got multiples of every single type of chip but we couldn't get the fifth one but now here we have it chip number five this is the whole set on the left we've got the set from the breakdown event and on the right the set from this exo cares initiative event so this took quite a while but i'm glad we finally got all of them if you want to stay tuned and see what they are for then make sure to click that subscribe button and if you want to you can also check this video thank you for watching till the end and i'll see you there cheers astroneers